is Hurisani Mutati. I come from Ferenheim. Uh, the reasons that made me to visit Charis today, the first issue, it was the issue of illness. I was diagnosed with a major depression and I think it has been so long now. And I have been hospitalized twice. I tried everything I could. I tried medication. I tried psychiatric. I had so many sessions with different pastors, more than 50 sessions. And I also had so many sessions with the psychologist and other people as well that I was referred to by where I work. However, it could not help. So now, the reason I came, I realized that I have tried everything. However, whenever I try to move forward, I can move forward one step. And when I move backward, I move backward like 10 steps back. So I could see that you no, know, there is something strange with my depression. Then I decided to come here to see a uh, Apostle Makananisa. The impacts of the depression was so severe. I lost myself. I, I could not even recognize myself. I, have, I had negative thoughts. Even my kids, my daughter was also affected. She was also diagnosed with depression. And then in terms of my family, it, you know, it destroyed, my family was destroyed. It was totally destroyed. The environment was not conducive for people, especially kids, to, 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 to stay in. In terms of my work, it was so affected because I was on a very long sick leave. And then when I went back to work again, I break down again. I went back, I was admitted again. So my life was on hold. I did not even have reason to, to live. I lost hope in, in everything. I, I lost hope. I did not see the reason for me to, to live. Mm, after seeing the men of God today, I feel I am extremely happy. I feel so light. And then even my mind, those negative thoughts that I used to have, I, I don't have negative thoughts anymore. And then I am, you know, I am ready to go out there and then shine my star. Today I got the opportunity to see the man of God, Apostle Makananisa, one on one in his office. So he, wel he welcomed me with a warm heart, like his own daughter. I felt so free. And then the first thing that he told me is that, do you know that God loves you so much? There are so many battles that God is fighting for you that you are not even aware of. And then I, I confirm that to be true as well. Because, you know, there are so many battles, especially the ones that I'm aware of. So many, so many spirits that I have been fighting throughout since last year. So many big challenges, you know, scary things that I have been experiencing and, 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 and fighting. So he, he told me that I must hold on to the cross and keep on, on praying surprised me most is when men of God told me about my, my hearing problems. Because even at work, uh, they have diagnosed that I've got uh, hearing challenges. So instead of doing my hearing medicals uh, once a year, I do them twice a year. And it's something that I've never told anyone, but the men of God managed to pick that up. The other thing is my, um, I had two miscarriages uh, before, the other one in 2020, the other one in 2021. So that was the reason as well why, why I was here. And then the man of God told me that problem before I even uh, uh, explained to him. He told me that I've got uh, fibroids and then I confirmed that to be true because I have been cleaned 
twice. And then when I went for the third time, the gynecologist told me that those fibroids are coming back and we must continue monitoring them. So I confirmed that prophecy to be true. And then the other one, it was regarding my son. I took out the pictures of my two kids and then he told me that there is a special uh, kind of thing regarding my son. I said, uh, Apostle, this is, this, this is the child of prophecy. That prophecy was given to me by, by him in 20, I think late 2015. And then he told me that he's seeing me carrying a baby boy. And then that boy will be a great man and he will bring joy to the whole world and to me as a mother and then to the, to the family. So I confirm that to be true as well because the, um, the, the child is a very brilliant child. And, when yeah. Yeah, and every time when I go to these prophetic churches, they always ask me, whose child is this? This child will be great and this and that. So I confirm that prophecy to be true as well. And then the child uh, is a prophecy. I got that prophecy uh, from um, Apostle Makananisa. My word of encouragement to people out there is that when you experience challenges, Please seek the face of God. Find a man of God who will able to help you spiritually. Because some of the challenges, they are not normal. They are spiritual. So it's very, very important that you seek the, the, the face of God before the problems uh, escalate. So I am happy that I am free and delivered. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name. We are at Charis Missionary Church. We've got the grace. You can't stop us. In Jesus' name. Stay blessed.